What's up guys? This is part three of my Machina Micro Mark III tutorial. In my last tutorial video, I showed you how to add chords and a bass line. We covered the chord progression feature, setting scales, and even using the step sequencer. If you haven't watched my previous two videos, I suggest you go watch those first so you understand the basics. In this video, we're gonna add a melody, add some effects to it, make a song arrangement, and then export the song so that we can play it anywhere. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with my tutorials on micro and other music gear. In an upcoming video, I'm gonna cover the sampling tools in Machina. Let's get started. All right, we're back to our beat. First, we'll create a new group for our melody. Press the group button, and then press a blank pad. Click sounds in the Machina software, and then the browse button on the micro. Now I can browse all the available sounds and I'm gonna select organic bell. This time I'm gonna search for it. There we go, and I've loaded it. Let's go ahead and create a new pattern and switch the micro to keyboard mode. So you can play notes and even chords. Let's record a simple melody. I'm gonna set the pattern length to four and then I'm gonna set the root note to C2. Nice. Hit shift and record for the count-in. There you go. Now already that sounds good, but let's add an effect to it. In the Machina software, click on sound, and you'll see there's already an effect added called metaverb. Let's add another one. Press the plus button, and then go to internal, and I'm choosing Beat Delay. Let's hear how that sounds. That sounds pretty interesting, but maybe it's a bit too much. You can adjust the parameters of the effects right from the micro. Press the encoder button in, and then you can move to the different parameters that you can adjust. I'm gonna to go to Mix and adjust Mix Down. So I've got it to about 23 and that sounds pretty good. Now I showed you that we already have Metaverb on here, but there's a little bit too much of it. So I'm gonna hit plug in again and then hit the left arrow to find Metaverb. Now that I see Metaverb, I can hit that and I can adjust the size or I can move over to Mix. And let's adjust that while we listen to it. I can also adjust the size. All right, that sounds pretty good. Now, just like I added an internal effect, you can also choose from any other third-party effects from your arsenal. All right, there's our melody. Now let's talk about scenes. So far, we've created one scene. By default, when you start a new beat, Machina creates a scene for you. You can create different scenes. They're kind of like different sections of your song or variations of the beat. Let's create another scene and then put together our two scenes to start constructing a song. If you look at the Machina software, you'll see the first scene already there. Press the plus button to create another scene. You'll see our existing patterns already ready to go so you can reuse a pattern you've already recorded. But instead, let's create a new pattern for our drums. Of course, you can do this by finger drumming again, but let's just modify our existing pattern for now. You can do this in the Machina software by right-clicking an existing pattern and clicking on Duplicate. Now you can modify the drums in this pattern. I'm gonna get rid of those claps. You can just delete things in the software, but instead, let's use the Step Sequencer mode to just get rid of all the claps. We know the claps are here. Let's go to the Step Sequencer, and now you see where the claps appear. Let's go to the second page. There they are again. Now they're all gone, let's play that. Next for this scene, I'm gonna activate the chords. So I don't have to re-record them, I can just click on where the chords are, and now that's activated for this scene. I'm gonna leave the other patterns deactivated, so we'll have this beat breakdown and chords, and that's about it for this scene. Now let's put our two scenes together. Switch to the song view, that's the button right here. Then right click in the header portion of the timeline and choose append. I'm gonna first append scene two. 
Then in the next section, I'm gonna append scene one. Now let's play it and see what that sounds like. I'm gonna take the loop off, hit play. Now you can always go back to your scenes and patterns to make adjustments or create new scenes. Once you're done constructing your song, you might be ready to export it into a WAV file so that you can just play it anywhere, or you can even import it into another DAW. What you'll need to do is click File, Export Audio, and then make sure in the range you select All. Choose a folder where you'd like to save the file, and give it a name, and click Export. That's it, it's all done. Here's a bonus tip. You can switch scenes right on the micro hardware itself. This is really great if you're doing a performance. If you click the scene button, you can choose between the scenes that you've created. So if I want the first scene to play, press that one and press play. If I want to switch to the second scene, keeps it all in time, which is really nice if you're actually doing a performance. There you go. Don't forget to save your project. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to keep making the music that you love, and I will see you guys later.